Hey guys, it's Lauren. We are back with another video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I would love to take you along with me. I am a reseller on Poshmark. Um, today I will be taking one of my packages over to the post office and then grabbing some coffees and making my way back home to my one month old. Um, he is currently at home with dad um, so I can run around and get this all done and hopefully film a little video for you guys while I'm out. Um, once I'm back home, I'm going to go ahead and run through what sold for the month of June. Um, so if that interests you, please stay tuned. Um, for everyone that subscribed over the weekend, thank you so much. Um, if you haven't already, I actually posted my first video on YouTube this week. So that will be linked at the end of this one if you're interested to stick around and watch. All right, well, here we go. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Darling, you. Okay, so we got our coffees and we are heading back home um, to go ahead and film the rest of what sold for June. So I'll see you back at home. Okay, we are back and we are gonna get right into this of what sold for the month of June. The first thing was a record that I actually had no cost of goods for. It is a box of records that I've had um, that were given to me to try to resell and my offer price was actually $22 so my net earnings were $15.88 from something that cost me nothing so that's awesome the second item that sold was a Amour Vert uh, green daisy dress and that was actually a really exciting find for me at Goodwill that was $11.49 um, originally I had it priced at $43, but I received a offer with, um, or sent out an offer of $38 with, uh, reduced shipping. Um, so my net earnings were actually $28 and 68 cents. Um, so that was very exciting. I doubled my money on that one. Um, the next one was a free people overall kind of denim jumpsuit and that was also from Goodwill. I paid $11.49 for it. My original listing price was $38 and I accepted an offer of $30 on that one. Um, so my net earnings were $24. And next up was something that I've had in my closet. Um, someone actually gave this to me as well to try to sell and um, sell in my Poshmark. This was a papaya long sleeve striped button up shirt. So again, no cost of goods there. And that one I sold for $9. Um, so that with reduced shipping, actually, I, it was originally $10 listed on my account. Um, and then I sent an offer to Likers and it was $9 with the reduced shipping, um, which made my earnings $4.33 on something that cost me nothing again. So not any sweat there. <laughs> Next was a candlestick holder. I have some home stuff on my account and every so often I'll kind of put in uh, old decorations and things that I no longer have and I'm transitioning out of at our own home. Um, so this was an antler candlestick holder um, and I originally bought it at Goodwill for about seven dollars. 
um, I priced it at $25 and it sold at $20 um, so my net earnings were $16 on that one um, the next one was a Madewell orange kind of like bright red side tie dress and this one I also picked up at Goodwill for $11.49 I had it listed on my Poshmark for $55 and I um, sold it for $40, which made my net earnings $32 on that one. Next one was a Billabong dress, which I had had for quite some time. I think I originally purchased it at Jack Surfboards and that I had no cost of goods on and I had it priced at $28. I ended up accepting an offer um, or sending out an offer with discounted shipping um, for $25 and um, my net earnings were $18.28. Next were these BCBG Conchetta snakeskin heels and those were no cost of goods again, another item that someone had just given to me to try to sell on my Poshmark and those sold for um, $10 um, and those I had a net profit of $7.05. Next I sold a Zara pinafore dress and I'm surprised this went during the season. I kind of thought it would be more of a fall piece um, just because it would have kind of that houndstooth style um, and it would be kind of more of a layering piece for fall. Um, but that one I originally picked up at Goodwill for $11.49. I had it priced on Poshmark for $35 and I ended up accepting an offer for $25 on that one. So my net earnings were $20. Next was a set of page denim straight cut jeans and I probably will not be picking up tape page denim jeans in a very long time unless something happens but those sat in my closet for almost like eight months <laughs> they were originally in my closet for quite higher but when they did sell I had them listed at $19 and they sold for $19 um, so that made my net earnings $15.20. Next were a pair of J. Crew uh, loafers, and those actually I bought at Goodwill for $10. They had a little bit of wear to them, um, but those were um, on my Poshmark for $25, and they sold at $19, which also made my earnings $15.20. Uh, the next thing I sold was in my last video actually it was a Madewell silk eye cat dress and that one I had posted it on my Poshmark for 40 um, and it actually sold at 40 so that made my net earnings $32 we love those full price sales <laughs> next one uh, that sold was an H&M divided plaid shirt and that actually was no cost to me it was um, zero dollars that is something I'm reselling um, from my closet and that is actually that was sold for ten dollars and it made my net earnings seven dollars and five cents next was a pair of heels that have like a slingback heel to them they're 14th and union and those i originally picked up for myself at, for work so i bought them on poshmark and i paid about 24 dollars at the time for them um but i never really wore them <laughs> so i actually listed them on poshmark for 24 and they sold at 17 and that made my net earnings $13.60 um, and then the next thing I sold was a Forever 21 tan hat and that was like a woven hat with a black bow and 
that sold for nine dollars which made and that was with discounted shipping this one sold kind of sat in my closet for quite some time i think since like i first originally started posting on poshmark so i was okay with letting it go um so i actually sent out an offer um for nine for nine dollars with discounted shipping which made my net earnings five dollars four dollars and 33 cents um next was a quicksilver women's button-up shirt with a clock pattern on it um this was a silk shirt it was really cute um this one i had listed at twelve dollars i ended up accepting or actually this was cool so they put it into a bundle and then i actually went in and um, reduced the price for them but did not offer them a shipping discount and they bought it through that bundle even though it was the only item in the bundle so basically they just paid a little lower and they paid for the shipping so it originally was twelve dollars they paid ten dollars for it which made my net earnings nine dollars and five cents and then next was a roxy maxi skirt and this one was originally posted for sixteen dollars it sold for fourteen and that made my net earnings nine dollars and thirty three cents with the discounted shipping um next was some maternity jeans from seven from seven for all mankind these had sat in my closet i had these from before i even knew i was pregnant um but they sat in my closet because i had wanted to try maternity jeans and see how they go um see how they work but those actually i paid eleven dollars and 49 cents for them at goodwill um i had originally posted them at um, $25 and we ended up selling them for 18 and my net earnings were $14 and 40 cents okay next was a pair of some turquoise sandals um, those were from Target the Morono brand and those actually were listed for ten dollars someone bought them outright um, for ten dollars which made my net earnings seven dollars and five cents and then last but not least for the sales of this month was another item from my haul video and it was that tulum soft surroundings brown dress and that was posted on my Poshmark for $50 um, and I originally paid $12 for it as you guys saw um, and the price that the buyer offered was $45 um, with discounted shipping so my net earnings were $34.28. So with all of that said and broken down um, in total for Poshmark, I made $400.66 um, all combined. Um, my net profit all combined, that's taking out Poshmark fees and taking out the discounted shipping fees. Um, my net profit was $341.31. So not too bad um, for a side hustle. Definitely, I want to experiment a little bit with eBay and seeing how it picks up my sales if I do start on posting on eBay as well and kind of cross-listing my items on different platforms. So thank you so much for tuning along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a haul video soon, um, but definitely excited that you joined me. Um, hope you enjoyed and have a great day.